Now I'm assuming that you've installed Reason and you have your master keyboard hooked up to your PC or Mac. When you first start Reason, you get the Reason Setup Wizard, which is a quick way of setting up your audio and MIDI interfaces for Reason. We begin by setting up our audio interface. Now I have a bunch of different interfaces on my computer. I'll just select the one I want to use, in this case a Motu A28 Mach 3, and then a sample rate. Now if you have some kind of a system clock that's keeping all of your digital devices in sync, you want to make sure you choose that sample rate. If not, you probably want to work at 44.1, which is the standard rate for CDs. After we have set the audio output and the sample rate, the next thing we need to do is set up a keyboard or controller to control the devices within Reason. Now, the setup wizard has an auto detect mode where it will go through, check all of your MIDI ports on your system, and see if there's a keyboard or controller that it recognizes. Now, don't worry if it doesn't recognize your keyboard because we can set it up manually. And in fact, in my case, it's not going to recognize my main keyboard, which is a Korg Triton Extreme. And that's what I'm going to use to play in notes into the synthesizers and play drums and twiddle knobs and so forth. So what I will do is select the manufacturer. If yours isn't there, just choose other. And then again, my Triton doesn't even show up in the list. So I'll choose a MIDI control keyboard, which means I have notes or keys, plus I have knobs and sliders and pads. Now it needs to know where that keyboard is plugged in. What MIDI port am I using? And if I have a MIDI interface or a USB interface, you will need to specify it here. Now you can select the MIDI port from the list if you know it, but there's an easier way. There is a Find button, and when you click the Find button, all you need to do is press a key on your controller, and Reason will magically recognize what port it's plugged into. And then you're set. After I've done that, it gives me an option to register. You should definitely register your product so you get notified of updates and so forth. But if you've already registered, you can click the already registered button. And when the setup wizard is done, we get the demo song and we'll learn in the next video how to play it back.